Hey everyone, Allegorix here, bringing you a quick video update on Escape from Tarkov Arena. Please make sure to leave a like on this video, and please make sure to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy the content. It really helps out the channel a lot, and it goes a long way. With that being said, let's jump right into it. As you guys can see here on my screen, on the Escape from Tarkov Arena Twitter page, BSG this morning has just tweeted that on Wednesday, February 28th, we are planning to install update 015 for Escape from Tarkov arena there will be a wipe with the patch in escape from tarkov arena with the update progression of preset leveling as well as players arp being reset so we've been talking about it the last few days last a little more than that really and uh here it is officially tweeted by bsg they also tweeted out this picture here um just uh, it's a kind of a quick infographic on what they are going to be updating so we are looking at an update to the preset tier system here you can see they have like a bronze silver and gold thing so this is what they were talking about in their roadmap if i am to judge off of this infographic and again i do not know because there are no patch notes yet i would say that this is going to be based on experience gained similar to how it is now however it's going to unlock multiple classes at a time maybe you'll see like a line of each ones like the free classes were in the arp section of the unlocks where once you get a certain amount of experience you unlock a whole row of operators and so on so that's what it looks like the way it's presented but um, again i guess we'll find out this week Custom game improvements is the next thing, so this is really nice. Being able to add how many players can be in the match, a little bit more control over who has what, who can do what, locations, all of that stuff. You can see a little checkbox here that says kill camera on and off, so that's pretty interesting feature there. I don't think that's currently an option. It might be, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is pretty cool, so this is exciting for me in particular. I definitely have a lot of cool custom game type modes planned um, flexible preset unlock so i'm really curious about this one earlier on in the game like several weeks ago i was talking about unlocking kits in different trees than what you're currently working on so let's say you are working in the assault tree and you're going down your tiers well you should be able to select something maybe in the marksman tree or the scout tree that you're earning experience towards unlocking instead of maybe something below assault tier that maybe you don't want or the CQP tier that maybe you don't want. So being able to select what you're working towards rather than being forced into one progression path, that is what it looks like it might be. That's kind of what I'm hoping it will be. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. Either way, anything flexible, I'm, I'm here for it. Moving along to the next one, preset system redesign. This is just a catch-all for all of the preset. Well, maybe not all of them, but I'm assuming a good chunk of the presets being touched in some way by BSG and giving them updates, balancing them out. So hopefully a lot of good changes there. Again, can't delve too much into this until the patch notes come out. Last but not least, real simple update here, Chop Shop teamfight mode. So an expanded, larger version of Chop Shop, which is really cool, and adding it to teamfights. So those teamfight players out there, which is probably most of you, adding a little bit more spice to your map rotation. Very welcome change there. And I know that in the next couple of months, maybe closer halfway through the year, we are going to get another map as well. So that is something to look forward to. Seems like they're on schedule with their updates based off the road map so far. Of course, this one was right around the corner, so we'll see how things develop as we get into springtime, you know, middle of the year and so on. Until then, we will just look out for some patch notes. That is all I have for you guys today. If you like this content, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really does help out the channel a lot and leave a like down below. Let me know what you guys think some of these updates are going to be. Of course, when the patch notes come out, it'll be much clearer, but it's always fun to speculate. And that is all I have for you guys. Until the next one, Peace.